Hello children, welcome to e-learning class. Myself Kusum Mishra and today we are going to study the field mouse, a poem. This poem is written by Cecil Francis Alexander. Let's start the poem. Where the acorn tumbles down, where the ash tree shades its berry, with your fur so soft and brown, with your eye so round and merry, scarcely moving the long grass, field mouse I can see you pass. This poem is based on a field mouse which has a soft fur and round eyes and moves through the long grass when the acorn or oak nut fruit and berry fall on the ground. The mouse is seen at this time as it comes out of its hole to eat the fruit. Second stanza Little thing in what dark den lie you all the winter sleeping? Till warm weather comes again, then once more I see you peeping. Round about the tall tree roots, nibbling at their fallen fruits. In the second stanza, the poet asks the mouse what it does during winter season. Hiding in its hole, the mouse is only seen during summers, peeping from the hole on the trees. The mouse comes out to feed on the fruits of the trees. Third stanza. Third stanza. Field mouse, field mouse, do not go where the farmer stacks his treasure. Find the nut that falls below. Eat the acorn at your pleasure. But you must not steal the grain. He has stacked with so much pain. In the third stanza, the poet requests the mouse not to eat the grains that farmers grow by working hard. He requests the mouse to eat only the fruits that are fallen on the ground. Last stanza. Make your hole where mosses spring underneath the tall oak's shadow. Pretty, quite harmless thing, play about the sunny meadow. Keep away from corn and house, none will harm you, little mouse. In the last stanza, poet again requests the mouse to make hole under the tall oak tree and not in the house or near the stored grains. And in this way, nobody would harm mouse. Children, I hope you like the poem. Thank you.